What's up guys, Coach Tony here from The Strength House and today I'm gonna to show you how to do Hatfield squats. So a Hatfield squat is basically a hand-supported safety bar squat that serves two main purposes. One, either to isolate the legs more and take the back out of the equation, basically the entire torso, so you can more readily fatigue your quads and your glutes as you do squats, or you can overload it quite a bit. Because of the hand support, it's gonna take out a lot of that balance component of the squat. It's also gonna remove the risk of kind of our upper back caving over, which is the main limiting factor in heavy squats. So it allows you to build some confidence and feel some heavier weight on your back with less fatigue than a typical back squat. So I've got a safety bar set up here, and uh, one of the most common ways to have the hand supports is to use these band pegs here, pretty common with most uh, power racks these days. And it's important to set them up on the lower side. You don't wanna set them up too high because then the bar is gonna end up hitting your shoulders and kind of messing up your position. So the lower side is better here. That's also gonna discourage pulling up with your hands too much. All right, so I'm gonna set up like a regular safety bar squat. And once I unrack the bar, I'm gonna find my footing. I'm not gonna walk it out too far because I don't wanna have to really reach for the handles. But once I have my balance, I'm gonna put my hands on the pins here and then I'm gonna execute it like any other squat, but I'm just gonna kind of have my hands lightly on the pins to help with balance. So I can stay nice and upright here, really feel my legs pushing down to the ground. And this is a great way to kind of make the squat more leg focus and really take out any of the limitations that your core and your upper back would literally would normally cause during a squat. Now, if you don't have pins like this, you could certainly set up another bar across the front, a regular barbell across the front and more J hooks and hold on to it this way. Or a thing that we like to do is we like to use our monolith to use the safety straps hung from the top. The safety straps can move a little bit with you. So it gives you a little bit more freedom for your hand position. So that's a half field squat. One of our favorite squat variations to build size in the legs and build confidence by having heavier weight on your back.